Still on Lincoln. This is just going to be a short little midweek one. I got the old rear, the rear end out of the other car and the leaf springs ripped out. And I got it sitting in here with two bolts up front. So I'm going to get it wrapped up, throw the tires back on and, you know, check the stance. Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it's not so back heavy like it was, which give it six months it'll probably be back to the way it was before start jacking and see what happens see if everything's gonna line up why is it so crooked in there So yeah, I was just watching uh, Zane from Hodgepodge Dodge Garage. He put out a new episode. Been waiting for quite a while for that one to come out. I only caught the first couple minutes of it, but I'll catch the rest of it in a little bit. And here I thought you were working on the car. I was. Oh. oh curious how I'm supposed to get those spring perches that far back. Five inches back. Oh, there. I'm a dummy. Don't pay any attention to me. They pivot. Ow. Ugh. Wrist. Ugh. Still you, hurts. You okay? Yes. I shouldn't have pried. Don't do what I do. Yeah, didn't feel very good. Wow. Do you want me to do it? No, I'll get him. Just need a second to. Getting close on this side. I'm all healed. I'm gonna go now. Look at that, I got that bolt in. Yeah, this whole suspension just unbolted. All oh. 8, 16, 18, 18 bolts held in the whole suspension. So, that one started. Too much. I guess if this was easy, everybody would do it, right? I guess. A 
not want to start. <laughs> All right, I'll work on this for a while. I'll come back if I get it started. Yeah, it's got to be close. I like how you uh, are drinking it up. Yeah. It's the only way. Watch your eyeballs. Got the back eight started. Yeah, these little nuts were welded on or crimped on or however they make them, but which was nice that they made them square instead of round that you're able to get a wrench on it so you could get them loose once it broke. So. I'm going to crawl out in the front and hopefully those line up real easy. Don't mind me, I'm just down there sleeping. No, the front actually lined up nice. So, makes it easier. They're all four started on this side. Excellent. I want to tighten them down until I get all 16 in. That makes sense. Well, moment of truth. See if, uh, it'll take about three hours, I think. Yeah, give or take. Yeah. So let's see what happens. Doesn't look any higher. Doesn't look any higher at all. Uh. The front one up. The back end of that car used to sit really high. The other car. I don't know. One way to tell, I measured the rockers the other day. What are they, eight and a half? I measured something to do with the damn measure. Oh, yeah. That's an inch and a half higher. <laughs> Perfect. Now it won't rub. With it sitting that low, I think it would change the pinion angle and I'd get a vibration at like 115, it'd start vibrating. Sure. Kilometers. <laughs> yeah. I had this car at 100 one time. Mm. Yeah. And you know how the hood opens backwards? Mm hmm. Well, it started to open up. Mm. So then I let out of it. I don't know, if it, I don't know why. They, Good enough for me. Uh, guess we'll have to check the footage and make sure it 
did come up. Sure looks like it did, because I thought I had eight and a half and eight and a half before, right? I don't remember. You're the one that's supposed to remember this stuff, not me. <clears throat> Didn't we measure wheel wells and it was 26? Well, still 26 and a half. I don't know. It looks higher. I'm going to roll with it. All right, well, not tonight, but I'm going to finish buffing this side. I got that side majority of the way done. But now it, uh, it shined up nice. I don't know if I'm going to see if that Pappy's has that wipe on clear coat stuff. Or maybe Vice Garage, I know he has it. We'll see. I think it'll be a lot easier to wipe it on than tape everything off again. Right? You agree? I agree. Well, I don't know. It looks higher to me, doesn't it? I think so. Okay. Then I'm happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. Actually, I think that side's sitting higher than this side. We'll see. All right, well, until I start sanding or uh, polishing again. So, see you in a couple days, probably. So, bye. Welcome back. Last time I drove this thing, or the last multiple times, I think the tires are towed out. So, when I'm driving, I think I'll hit a crack or something, and the car will just want to do whatever it wants to do. So, and when the roads were wet, that was even worse. So the other day I was watching Nobody's Wrench. A guy I know, he, I met him drag racing. They did an alignment on a K10, I believe. They had the fancy tools. I was like, well, I'll be able to do that with, you know, a couple blocks of wood and paint cans and a battery to hold the block in place and trusty old Stanley. I got it marked on each side, so every time I pull a measurement, I want to be in the same spot, and then I know because I got to you know, turn the tie rods in, so I want to pull the measurement from the same spot every single time, and I should probably write down my measurements so I don't forget. by myself. Man, that car's wide. Am I on the line on that side? You want the... Okay, now it's on the line. Okay, so I'm looking at... 70... Eight and an eighth. You might have to hook it on that side, so. Okay. <laughs> 77 and... Seven sixteenths. I say three eighths. And an eighth on the first one. And seventy eight and an eighth. And seventy seven and seven sixteenths. Seven sixteenths. Yeah, that's what you said. So my wife's been telling me for years, I'll never be able to make a car out of spaghetti. She didn't think it was very funny when I drove pasta. <laughs> so this thing is towed out. That's a long ways. Because you're supposed to have a little bit of a tow in. Slightly. 
So if I get some toe in, I'll be fine. I'm not going for perfect. I'm just going for functionality. So well, I should probably jack it up. I think I can squeeze my big head under there. Yeah, I'll figure out what I need to start moving the tie rods and I'll get back with you in a little bit. So, I want to move this tire because the other one is straight and the steering wheel is straight. So I'll just loosen up these two clamps and see if I can spin that uh, collar to get my adjustment out of it. <laughs> This is a poor man's alignment. Or a cheap man. Cheap man's alignment. Figure. How about frugal? Frugal. Yeah, frugal. That's my favorite color. So what color is the wind? I don't know. It's blue. That's a Ron joke. Ron from work. I don't know. Flashlight that direction, can you see? Uh, we can try. Problem is, I gotta figure out which way I gotta go. I know I need to make it longer, so. Threads one way, threads the other way. Uh. Oh! Yeah, that might be a jack it up, take the tire off kind of thing. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lift it. Do it the easy way. Getting the collar nice and warm, help it turn. You get this really hot. You want to make sure you grab it. I got the junkiest vice grips in or keep messing with it as soon as I get it to turn off we'll kick the camera back on I gave up on doing it the hard way I got this side to loosen up so I'm just gonna adjust it out to where I think I need it and put it back together and then we'll measure it again so how many inches was that it was, was it over less than an inch right so I guess I'll back it out about what, three quarters of an inch about It's got to be about three quarters. Oh, guys, warm. And then I'll set it all back up and see where it's at.
All right, I'm gonna set it back up and we'll start filming again when I got all that fun stuff bolted back on. Well, I got it close, I think. Yeah, you gotta lift that side up, please. You know, the car's still jacked up. No, it's not. Oh, Jack's just there? Jack's just there. Okay. Okay. 78 and a quarter. Oh. I think I went too far. <laughs> Unless my tape measure broke halfway through. Yeah, no, I, I got something. What's the front one? Way less. Way, way less. I think I measured in the same spot each time. The tire looks the same. Yeah. This one actually, it looks, this one is way in. I went way too far. So I'm gonna change back. Give me a minute. I'll be back. Take two. Action. See if I got it closer. Yeah, way, way, way closer than the first time. Wait a minute. 77 and three quarters. Guesses on the front? Well, you wouldn't tell me what it was before. <laughs> so. so. This is 77 and a quarter. Does that mean it's towed in? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Half an inch? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if that's too much. You yeah. better ask the Google. Yeah, I think it's only like 1% or something, or 16th of an inch, or it's not much. But there's lots of tread on these tires, so they probably last a long time. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it because I got a little bit of a warp in this board here. It comes out a little bit, so that'll throw my measurement off. So just by looking at the tires, it's way closer than it was. So I'll try it here. At least it'll get me for a couple weeks till I can get it in an alignment shop and have the professionals actually do it. So, but it shouldn't be so dangerous now, you know. You had a loop one of them with cracks in the road, and yeah, it would. So. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get it put back together, and then uh, probably do something on the car. A little more cleaning, buffing. Yeah, get that set up. We'll be back. I did manage to get it to within one sixteenth of an inch towed in. So, gonna drive it, see what happens. But yeah, let's uh, let's get to shining this thing up. Works easier if the machine's running, but I like doing it the old-fashioned way. Yeah.
think you're standing on my cord. Uh-uh. I'm not. That's really shiny. No, just wait. It's shinier. Did I use that stuff? Yeah. What did you use? The machine glaze professional. It's like a number three cutting agent. It's not as aggressive as some. With this paint the way it is, I didn't want to go like crazy with the real cut. Cause then I would have been into my primer. Doesn't look too bad for a start. So, yeah, we we'll run through, do the whole car, and probably not tonight though. But I'll get it all done, and then we'll uh, take it outside and see what it looks like in the sun, all shiny. So, yeah, until then. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> oh, Danielson. Oh, yeah. I'm going to call that a wrap on this episode of the Lincoln. A lot of progress made on that thing. I'm actually going to drive it to work tomorrow and uh, see how it does with the DIY front end alignment. We'll see. But yeah, make sure you go back, watch uh, the last episode, Big Jim. Get in for the drawing, the raffle, the giveaway. Whatever you guys want to call it, whatever I want to call it, I don't even know what it is. But I'm giving that truck away. So you buy a ticket, tickets are 20 bucks, I'm only selling 500. So you buy one, it's one out of 500 odds. You buy 10, it's one out of 50 odds of winning. So it goes way up. And if you want to buy 10, you want to buy 20. I'm not going to argue with you. Buy 100 if you want. <laughs> yeah, buy 100. Hey, there's... That's a one out of five chance of winning. <laughs> Somebody buys 400. They're almost <laughs> guaranteed to own that truck. Someone buys 400. We can just give that yeah, truck to that person. I don't think I have, you know, enough to buy 400 tickets because I'd love to keep the truck. It's, it's fun to drive, you know. I drove it, I drove it to work like three weeks ago, a month ago or something. And I thought some guy was going to break his neck spinning around looking at that thing. <laughs> I was like, hey, you know, keep it in the lane, buddy. So, but yeah, this one will be the next episode. I've been finding Bondo in my, you know, rust-free Texas bot Mustang. So, got some back here and some there and some on the fenders. But it's not a Mustang if it hasn't been crashed at some point in its life. Everybody knows that. Just watch all the Mustang videos on YouTube. Somebody always wrecks one. But yeah, we'll check out Big Jim. But truck's going to its new home. Hopefully sooner than later. So keep buying them tickets. So yeah, make the plan, work the plan. You guys have a good night. I know I'm going to. I'm going to go to bed early, you know, maybe 11 o'clock tonight instead of 11.30 like normal. So, have a good night.